How to set up the Remedy device pre and post MRI scan for a Remedy model 1001. This video will focus on how to set up the patient's Remedy device for an MRI scan and at how to restore patient device settings to pre MRI scan following an MRI for a Remedy model 1001. The first part of this video will explain how to prepare a patient's Remedy device for an MRI scan. Before doing this, make sure you've checked the MRI scan patient checklist and confirm that the device is eligible for an MRI scan. If you need more details, please refer to the MRI checklist video. Here are the three steps to get the Remedy device ready for an MRI scan. Step 1. Interrogate the device. Step 2. Check set electrode pair impedance and all unipolar pair impedances. Simply select the electrode pair and press read impedance. To conduct unipolar impedance measurements, designate electrodes one through four as the cathode for left lead and one through six for a right lead while maintaining the anode as a can. For more information on how to perform impedance tests, please refer to how to perform impedance test video. If you see an impedance reading less than the minimum lead impedance or more than the maximum lead impedance set within the device, please contact your Zoll Respicardia representative. This range will be found under lab parameters. The minimum impedance will vary. However, any impedance reading greater than 2,500 ohms, please contact Zoll Respicardia. This is a stimulated patient and therefore will read out of range impedance. Once the impedance testing shows all readings within range, move to the next step. Final step is turning off the remedy device. Change mode to off and press program. Once the device is turned off, you can print a document of the current settings for your records by simply going to file in the tools pull down menu and selecting print current settings. Once all the information has been collected, simply X out of the Respicardia programmer. As mentioned previously, make sure the patient takes the signed MRI scan checklist document with them to the MRI appointment. The second part of this video explains how to restore the remedy device settings to pre-MRI scan and turn therapy back on after the MRI scan. Remember, you don't need to use the same programmer for the post-MRI scan as you did for the pre-MRI scan. Here are the two steps for restoring the remedy device after the MRI scan. Interrogate the remedy device. An alert box will appear stating the device is in therapy disabled state due to the detection of a magnetic field and the operating mode under the summary screen will state magnet. Select OK, then proceed to turning therapy on and pressing program. Important to note that even though the history tab states clear magnet OK, the operating mode is still reading as magnet in the summary screen. Simply re-interrogate and you will notice the operating mode now state therapy. Before closing the program, take a moment to review the device parameter settings. For more information on the device, Remedy Devices MRI conditional labeling, refer to the Zill Respicardia marketing document MKT3150 MRI frequently asked questions document. This video reviewed how to set up a Remedy device for an MRI scan and how to restore remedy device settings post-MRI scan.